YouTube and thank you for watching another Electric Tech TV video. In this video I'll be showing you how to download and install WAMP and WordPress. So go to the link in the description and scroll down to downloads. You can either download WAMP for 64-bit windows or 32-bit. To find out which version you have go to start, right click on computer, properties, and it will say system type and then whatever you have. I've got 32-bit so I'm going to choose the 32-bit one. You can have PHP 5.4 or PHP 5.3 and I'm going to choose 5.3. So click on that but first you have to download this package so to check you don't already have the package go to start control panel programs and features and then if you see Visual C++ 2010 Service Pack 1 in there then you don't need to do it but if you don't then you will need to download this so the link that it provides takes you to the Microsoft site then you just click download and save and then just run the installer so click yes click I accept the terms and conditions next and then it will install, it's quite a quick install this one and then you can go back to the WAMP server website and download WAMP which will take you to SourceForge and then you can download that and click run and then just click next when the setup wizard pops up Click I accept the terms and conditions next. And this is where you can choose the destination you want it to go. You can browse and put it on another hard drive or folder if you like, but I'm just going to leave it where it is. And then click next. I'm going to choose it to create a desktop icon. Next. And then click install. This is asking you to choose your default browser. I'm using Internet Explorer and then just click next or allow access when this pops up. I just leave this as default and click next. And then done. So now new icons appeared, which says it's starting WAMP, and you can go to http slash slash localhost, and you should see this page if it's all worked correctly. Okay, now we've installed WAMP, we're now going to download WordPress, so go to the link in the description and click download. Once you've downloaded it, it will be in a zip format. You can use an extractor like WinRAR or Zip7, but Windows does have a default one built in so just double click and you will have the WordPress folder this contains all of the files needed for WordPress then you want to click on the WAMP icon and click www.directory and it brings up this you can just delete the files in the www.directory if you want WordPress to be in a folder then you can just copy and paste it straight away and change it to your it's going to be your domain.com forward slash wordpress at the moment but you can rename that to whatever you like for example news or if you wanted to have www.yourdomain.com as just that then you would copy and paste all of these and paste it into the main directory So that's what I'm going to do. And now you've got all the files in the www directory. Just open up your browser and put in http 
colon slash slash local host and then you should see this create a config file so you just create that let's go now this is where we have to put in the MySQL database so for that we click on the WAMP icon and go to PHP my admin then we go to databases and just put in here WordPress and click create and then go to users add a user just put in WordPress set the host to localhost and then I'm just going to put the password as password then for this bit just click check all go down to the next and then click add user and then go back to the WordPress setup the database name is already WordPress if you didn't put WordPress in the last bit then you have to change this here the username we put the username for the account as WordPress the password we put as password the database host is localhost and we can just leave that one default and click submit and then it should bring up this screen just click run the install and just put your site title I'm just going to put test username adwin I'll just put password then put in your email here I'll just put test at test.com and if you click this it will be it will index in search engines and if this is unchecked then it won't so I'll just leave it as default and then you can log in with your admin username and password you'll be able to test if your WordPress is installed properly by going to slash local to go http colon slash slash local host and you, we can see that WordPress is installed if you're pointing your domain to the IP that WAMP's installed on and you've ported forwards and you've unblocked WAMP in the firewall then with your domain your domain.com here we should be able to see your blog your WordPress blog I'm not going to be covering how to do that in this video. So we can clearly see now that um, WordPress has been installed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.